hello everyone welcome back to my channel Oko love light today we are going to be making some spaghetti squash i'm just going to be making a little shrimp alfredo to go inside of it so here is a secret because spaghetti squash is so hard to open if you make a little slit in it and then put it in the microwave for four to five minutes when you take it out it's much much easier to open so we are just going to put this in the microwave and then voila we're gonna open this up and then we're gonna start prepping it to go in the oven. Alright, so now you are going to clean all of basically like the seeds and a little bit of the guts out of it. Guts? That don't sound nice. <laughs> basically what you're gonna clean out you're gonna clean it out so it can look like this and then we are going to put some avocado oil on top of here with some old bay seasoning a little bit of parsley and garlic powder and we're going to put this on a cookie sheet face down bake it in the oven on 450 degrees for about 40 minutes All right, so now we are going to start to prepare our shrimp alfredo. So you are going to take about five garlic cloves. I mean, you could take less. You could take how many garlic cloves you want. I don't know why I just gave you guys another, a number. I'm using five garlic cloves. I'm just going to chop them up, and I'm going to leave them kind of big as well so I can get some chunks of garlic in it. Y'all know how I feel about garlic, so listen. We don't even have to go into it. We know that I think that garlic is life. Garlic thinks I'm life, too. Garlic love me, too. I know it does. <laughs> so remember my little squished up tomato i'm just going to chop this up too i'm not going to use the whole tomato but i'm going to use about three-fourths of it all right so first we're going to start with about maybe a half a tablespoon of avocado oil or even a tablespoon of avocado oil and then we're going to drop our tomato and garlic in there we're going to add our shrimp and we're going to season it with cajun seasoning italian seasoning and parsley So we're going to mix the butter in there so the seasonings don't stick to the pan. We're going to get the pan nice and coated with all of this butter, garlic, and tomato. So it does not take long for the shrimp to cook. Of course, we know that shrimp cook pretty fast. But I still leave my shrimp in the pan even after it's cooked. You don't have to do that. You can take your shrimp out after it's cooked and then just cook the sauce. But I do like to leave mine in the pan. Now, for the sauce, we are going to add about a half a cup of heavy cream. You're going to see me stirring it a lot because I like to keep my flavors getting more enhanced from the heat. So you're going to see me constantly stirring it. All right, we're going to add a half a cup of heavy cream. And then, of course, I'm going to add more garlic powder, more Cajun seasoning. And then I'm going to add about one fourth cup of grated Parmesan cheese. And this is the kind that's like a little bit stiff. So this kind works best. Now, the key to this is you have to have your burner on low and you keep stirring the cheese because you don't want it to stick together and be clumpy. So if you add a little bit of cheese at a time and stir it, it will not be clumpy. It will destroy distribute evenly and then this makes the sauce so good now let me just say this <laughs> but no let me say this y'all you do not have to add as much seasoning as I do 
I love dry herbs and we all know that I have a relationship with garlic. So I add a lot to my liking. Please add enough to your liking. If you know that you don't like garlic like that, you only need a hint of it. If you know you like um you like yours to be more flavorful and you love garlic, come on on this train with me and add a whole bunch of it. It's just that simple. Now, I will say though, I did hear somebody tell me that garlic powder actually have carbs in it. I never count garlic powder on my um, carb manager app, but you can put it in yours if you want to see how many it is. I'm not going to set myself up for that negativity, so I ain't going <laughs> to put it in mine. <laughs> But anyway, you guys, all right, I think I talked like halfway through this video. Go ahead and watch the video. All right, y'all, I'm going to show y'all a quick little haul that I did. So I found these new um flavored beach plum i have the box in the car i just took a couple of them out so i can put them in the refrigerator for um lunch and dinner what's this on there what is that for lunch and dinner because i had so many bags y'all i could not carry them all so i needed some more avocado oil this is all these plus dollar general haul and I got some shrimp. This is the shrimp I always get because a lot of people always ask about the shrimp that I have. I get the jumbo from all these. I think that's like eight dollars. And then I get these bag of pistachios. These are dollar each. I like getting these because the girls snack on these, and plus I can have them too because it's only for the whole bag. It's only four um, net carbs. And then y'all know I went back over to Dollar General and got two more boxes. So. I'm gonna tell you how considerate I am. Because they were only $2.35 a box yesterday, I left, oh, there's tomatoes on there. Cause one of my tomatoes bust. But yesterday I left three, bo four boxes there. Cause I didn't wanna take it all. I wanted somebody else to be able to get some if someone else eats them. However, I said, if I go in there today and they still up in there, I'm gonna take me some. <laughs> So I took two more boxes and there's still like a coconut box left and it's one of these ones left too. So I got them, $2.35 a box. I don't know what's going on, but listen, I appreciate it. Dollar General, I appreciate it. And then I got some sour cream because I'm gonna make a mug cake today and I'm gonna use sour cream and powdered sweetener for the icing. I got some pumpkin. So I wanted to make a like pumpkin cream roll up, but I left the low carb tortilla. So I probably won't make that today. And I also got these chips. So these chips went up. These chips, 20 grams of protein and three carbs. I really like these chips. I really, really, really do like them. But um, they went up. These chips was $2. Today, they was like $3. I said, oh, mm -mm, that's going to be my last day getting out. I'm going to have to do something else with chips. Go back to the pork skins like I've been eating. All right, you guys. Oh, wait. So then I also found this in all of these. Now, I never used these. And I just realized that it was an energy one. Oh, man. I didn't want to use that. Oh, well, I got it. But this was only a dollar in all these. That's why I got it. I thought it was just flavored water. Didn't even realize it was like an energy one. I don't want that. But I'm going to drink it. Oh, and then look what I got. They had some more of the pumpkin spice. Oh, yes, you pumpkin. <laughs> so, yeah, I got that sugar-free. And that is my little all these haul. Real quick, I stopped there. After I drop the kids off from school, I just go there and get my lunch. So, because my tomato bust, look at this, y'all. Hold on, let me show y'all my tomato. My tomato bust in the bag. I had got some plum, two plum tomatoes for tomorrow because I was going to make some, um, like, Alfredo spaghetti squash. I was going to make that tomorrow. However, I guess I'm making it today so I can use this. So, that's what we're going to be eating today. All right, you guys, now that I shared that, let's hop back into this video. You see how thick this sauce has got? Y'all, this sauce tastes so good. I could drink this. Like, 
it is so delicious oh my god it tastes so good anyway go ahead and get back into the video You guys, this was so good, but it was so filling. I only ended up eating half of it. I just ate like half of it, but it was so delicious. I'm going to save the rest just in case I want some more for dinner or if I want some tomorrow. All right, you guys. So here is my first snack. I'm just going to eat a bag of these protein chips. All right, you guys, I'm still pretty stuffed from that squash. So I'm just going to make me a sweet treat because I'm ridiculous. I am just going to take a low carb tortilla. This one has four carbs in it. And I'm going to put about a tablespoon and a half of softened cream cheese on there. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of monk fruit sweetener on here. I'm going to also sprinkle pumpkin pie spice on top of here. And I'm going to put a tablespoon of pureed pumpkin. We are going to cut it up, dip it in some butter, and then we are going to put this thing in the air fryer. So I am just going to be making some pumpkin spice chai tea to go along with it. I really like this black chai tea and there's such clean ingredients in it. Now I'm not going to make this how I did before, before I actually brewed loose tea leaves. But this time I'm using tea bags and guess what y'all? I'm just going to pour about one fourth cup of that um, sugar free pumpkin spice cream in there. And that is going to be my chai tea. That is going to be what it is. <laughs> All right, you guys, go ahead and get back into the video. Right, you guys so here is the last snack of today i really should not be eating this because that pumpkin it was so delicious oh my god it was so good mm. and i am still kind of like full from it so you guys i think i'm going to end the video here i am exhausted i do not know why <laughs> I don't know why I'm so tired, but I am tight. Maybe it was that squash because that squash, you guys, is pretty heavy. That was like my one meal today. I'm like this pumpkin cheese wrap. This was really good. It was, it was filling, but it was supposed to be like a dessert. I think I kind of used that for dinner too because it's just like I can't eat another thing. This is it. This is all I got in me. This is it. <laughs> All right, you guys, so that, so today was 1,047 calories and it was 21 net carbs. I think I'm so full because I drank a lot of water today. Like I drank extra water today. Weather is changing and my skin kind of felt dry. So I'm like, I need to up my water intake. I think that it's what has made me feel so full and made me feel like I'm just, I probably overdid it with the water. <laughs> Anyway, you guys, that is going to be the end of this video. If you made it through all the way, you might as well subscribe. Come join us here. And for those who are already subscribed, I thank you, thank you, thank you. And I thank you for sharing your tips with me. All right, you guys, this is going to be the official end of the video. I thank you guys for joining me. I thank you for sharing this space with me. And as always, I thank you for watching.